Dr. Luis Alvarez was an American scientist and inventor. In 1968, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. He is remembered as one of the most brilliant and productive experimental physicists of the 20th century. Luis was born in San Francisco, California, in 1911. Interest in science ran in the family, as both his father and grandfather were medical doctors. In 1926, Luis's father became a researcher at the famous Mayo Clinic. He and his family had to move across country from California to Minnesota. After Luis finished high school, he went to the University of Chicago, where he first learned about physics, or the study of matter and its motion through space and time. He received his bachelor's, master's, and Ph.D. degree there. While still a student in college, Luis began working on his own inventions, including combining a series of Geiger counter tubes and telescopes. In 1936, Dr. Alvarez and his wife received a telegram. He was invited to work at the Radiation Laboratory at the University of California, Berkeley. So, he and his wife moved back to California to take the job. In the next few years, Dr. Alvarez had the opportunity to work with other brilliant physics pioneers, including Dr. Robert Oppenheimer. Together, this team of scientists pioneered the first atomic bombs ever detonated. This was called the Manhattan Project. When he finished working on atomic bombs, Dr. Alvarez began working on other things. He designed a liquid hydrogen bubble chamber that would allow him to conduct lots of experiments to examine the movements of very small particles. In 1968, he won the Nobel Prize for his work, but winning the Nobel Prize in physics was not the end of Dr. Alvarez's dreams or his work. For the next 20 years, he worked on many other interesting projects. One of these projects was the use of X-rays and spark chambers to search the Egyptian pyramids for hidden chambers. But that's not all. In 1980, Dr. Alvarez teamed up with his son, a geologist, to explore the reasons why the dinosaurs became extinct. At the time, no one knew for sure what had brought about the death of the giant dinosaurs millions of years ago. Using research on the multiple layers of rock and silt from long ago, Dr. Alvarez and his son proposed the theory that a giant asteroid crashed into the Earth. Although scientists initially disagreed about whether the idea was actually possible, many years later, scientists found even more evidence to support this theory. Dr. Luis Alvarez did many amazing things in his lifetime. He went to college to earn his doctorate in physics. He worked on atomic bombs. He designed a hydrogen bubble chamber that won the Nobel Prize and proposed a new theory about the reason dinosaurs became extinct. But he didn't stop there. He also found time to enjoy hobbies. He was a licensed pilot for 50 years. He also invented a radar transponder that the United States used during World War II to keep our planes safe and help them land. He even received an award from President Harry Truman in 1946 for his awesome invention. Dr. Luis Alvarez truly was a pioneer and a man with many talents and interests. He is an example to all young people, especially those who are interested in science, history, and invention. You can find out more about Dr. Alvarez and his amazing work online or in your local library.